What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. The hype has come to global, my friends. Last night after the maintenance, we got an absolutely massive, massive update here on the English version of the game. And honestly, I could not be more happy with these changes. I know some people are gonna be a little bit less excited about this update because they're mostly quality of life changes. But for those of us who have been waiting for these quality of life changes for a very, very long time, pretty much ever since they came to JP, this is a big moment. It's like freaking Christmas around here, man. I am very, very happy with Bandai. I think they did a great job with these changes in this update. Good job, Bandai. You guys know that sometimes I have my opinion about how they do things. But I think they did a stellar job here. So well done, A+. Plus. But that's enough of me talking. Let's just jump into news here quickly and check out what you can expect to see different when you jump into your respective game today. Here we go, news. Go down here, and the first new thing that we see is this new summon animation celebration. And of course, that tells us that the new summoning animations are in the game now. This is probably the most highly anticipated update from JP to Global, and now it's finally here. So guys, we have lost our Global exclusive summoning animations. Very sad, but you know what? It's okay, because we got much better animations now. You guys will see me do some summons with these tickets. Actually, wait, let's talk about the tickets first. We're getting one GSSR ticket on a special banner that will have all the LRs on it. So some people using that ticket today will see the Vegito Blue animation and they will pull an LR off it. Let's hope it happens to us. Probably not, but you know, I'm happy if it happens to you. Good job. And now we also got seven GSR tickets for the banner too and that's flashbacks to the three-year ticket banner where we couldn't stop pulling pans and 17s and those white hot face off super saiyan gokus but you know what it's fine because pan i believe pan is not featured on this banner so at least at the very least if you get seven srs they're not gonna be all pans so don't worry about that but you guys will see a summoning video from me very very shortly with these tickets as well you can see here i have conveniently accumulated 50 stones which means we're gonna rip at least one multi on that LR Beerus double rates banner and you guys know that's the best place to pull LRs at this point so hopefully it will be enough to get that Vegito Blue animation and pull an LR today get excited for that get hyped guys that's coming very very soon okay back to the news some more things here uh, we got 180 character slots all for free this is nothing new but it's just unexpected i think it's an awesome move on their part <laughs> just giving us 180 free character slots because people were complaining about how those kais those damn kais and grand kais were filling up our boxes and giving us a lot of issues now all our prayers all our issues have been solved we got a bunch of free character slots so we're good to go especially with those new perunga wishes coming soon that um will give us more kais so yeah this is gonna be a this is a very very welcome gift from bandai and i just did the math it's pretty much 36 stones worth of free character slot expansions so yo that's freaking awesome thank you bandai go back here and then basically some more in-depth information about this update 3.1 3.1 3.1 3.1 okay yeah, i said that right i was like that, that's not kind of weird anyways number one renewal re renewal of summon animations we just talked about that new summoning animations hype number two applied mass quantity selling and exchanging functions so this is actually very very useful we can now sell or exchange up to 99 characters at once basically saves us a lot of time kind of like the potential system update where it saves us pretty much like 90% of the time that we needed before the update. Um, and also, you can exchange all your training items, support items, and awakening medals you can you currently possess in one go. So basically, those of you who have 999 Bubbles medals and you're tired of clicking them one at a time and only selling 10 at a time for a one point each, you can now sell all 999 if you want. I don't recommend it because, you know, Bubbles medals are still useful for some things. But nonetheless, I could stand to have some less bubbles medals and this will make it a lot easier to you know cut that number down a little bit what, oh, what else what else okay added filter on the select friend page so new friend system finally last night in my stream when i was doing the eza family kamehameha event i was complaining about how i couldn't find turlises because of the stupid friend system and now the new friend system is finally here basically for those who don't know essentially you can select the type of friend you want or even the category of friend i believe the categories are there too yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I believe categories are there too, but basically you can just select the type of friend you want and it will give you only that friend at the top of the list. So, you know, it's going to make running specific teams a lot easier. Running things like Extreme, um, extreme SDR, Extreme uh, AGL, a lot, basically a lot of extreme teams or even certain category teams. It's going to make your life just way, way easier. So this is very, very welcome. I'm so happy they finally gave this to us. So awesome. Number four, increase the maximum number of friends. So now we have 100 
friend slots as opposed to 70. So exciting news. Those of you who have been asking to be my friend on Dokkan, now is your chance. I'm going to be posting my friend code on my community feed in a couple hours. I'm not going to say at a specific time because I'm not really sure, but I will be posting and the first 30 people who add me will be added to my friends list in this game. So first come, first serve. But uh, yeah, exciting news for those of you, I guess, who really want to be my friend on this game. Now, number five, app applied uh, friend supporter function. So basically, this is uh, it allows you to set your main leader in the game, and no matter what team you're running, you will still, like that, that leader that you set will still appear to your friends as that unit. So basically, if you're running Peppy Gals and your, your lead is like, you know, Khalifla, you, you don't necessarily want your friends to be seeing the Khalifla or because they, they probably won't use it, right? But if you set your main leader, your uh, friend supporter to like LR Gogeta, then no matter what team you're running, your friends will always see LR Gogeta as your main lead. So that's a cool feature to have. Uh, number six, modified scroll function, scroll location settings on certain pages. Um, for certain pages, you can now resume from where you were when turning to those pages. Okay, it sounds like another just like nice little feature to have. I don't really know exactly what it means because I haven't really tested it out yet, but you guys will figure it out as you're playing the game, I'm sure. Number seven, modify the function to remove selected characters on certain pages. So essentially this just makes running teams or building teams a lot easier instead of having to go through the list and finding that friend or finding that team unit and clicking it to unselect it. You can just go to the bottom of the page where all your units are like lined up in a row, at least on the team, and click on that and it will be removed from the team. So it just saves a little bit more time that way. Uh, number eight, bug fixes. Awesome. I, I dig bug fixes. That's always a good thing. And number nine, adjusted user interface. So a little, a few UI changes. Um, the only thing I noticed is at the top of the screen here it says until next rank. I don't believe that was there before the update. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before the update. But if, I, if, I'm, if it was, then my bad. I haven't really noticed any major UI changes. But you know what? All these things are good. They all add up to a better game for us global players. So it's all positive. Everything is good. I'm very happy, like I said. A lot of good things that I've been waiting for are finally here. And uh, of course, those summoning animations are absolutely crazy, absolutely hype. So, um, yo, stay tuned for that video coming very, very soon with the tickets and the multi on the Double Rates banner. Anyways, guys, that's all the news that I have for you right now. Man, it's a good time to be a global player. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Hope you guys are happy with everything that just happened with the update. And uh, as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, and you'll see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.